and he who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will remain secure and rest in the shadow of the Almighty, whose power no enemy can withstand. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust, with great confidence and on whom I rely. For he will save you from the trap of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you and completely protect you with his pinions and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and a wall. You will not be afraid of the terror of night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that stalks in darkness, nor of the destructions and death that lays waste at noon. A thousand may fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but danger will not come near you. You will only be a spectator as you look on with your eyes and witness the divine repayment of the wicked, as you watch safely from the shelter of the Most High. Because you have made the Lord who is my refuge, you are the Most High your dwelling place. No evil will befall you, nor will any plague come near your tent. For he will command his angels in regard to you, to protect and defend and guard to, to protect and defend and guard you in all your ways of obedience and service. They will lift you up in their hands so that you do not even strike your foot against a stone. You will tread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the, and the serpent you will trample underfoot. Because, you, because he set his love on me, therefore I will save him. I will set him securely on high, because he knows my name. He confidently trusts and relies on me, knowing I will never abandon him. No, never. He will call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will rescue him and honour him. With a long life I will satisfy him and I will let him see my salvation. Amen, amen and amen.